Hello and welcome to How the fuck do I draw traditional artwork? First things first, you need a character, so you gotta do some kind of sketch. Like, I don't know, it really depends on your drawing style and stuff, but I will start because, like, I'm, I'm just thinking that you want to draw, like, a character. If you want to draw, like, realism, I can't help you with that because I... I don't do that. <laughs> And I'm not good at it, so I won't do it. So, we need a sketch. Um, I'm just sketching some kind of head. I don't have a character in mind. Maybe I'm going to make one right now. Because all it takes for a char character is one word or one idea you have to have. So, um, with me it's always like, I like to use something like, um, uh, 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 S some just like one word or one color or some colors that I just throw together and I'm like yeah that's a character so something like this let's make him a smiley boy sorry you can't really see that huh he's smiling he will see it uh, maybe let's give him some eyes that go a bit downwards I want him to be friendly so let's give him some oval eyes with like the corner that looks a bit up so he has this very friendly look to him like you wouldn't exactly think that this character was evil at least not on the first glance like you have some characters that are evil but other characters also don't notice it do they speak to them or stuff the stuff so yeah also so I just need to like think of, of a word now or something. I, I think this camera perspective is shit. Wait, let me change it. Okay, I had to do some really rearranging because your tiny little camera legs wouldn't want to hold you up. Okay, um, guess we have to think of gender now. Uh, or at least gender represent- not representation. Gender, like... Guess we gotta think of a style now. That's great. That's that's the way Animal Crossing said it. Let's let's make him a round boy. I want some round, friendly shapes in his face. Let's. Oh my God, this looks stupid. I like stupid hairstyles, so can't expect anything else from me. Can you? No, you can't. Let's do a little weird half up, half down moment, right? That would be fun. <laughs> what am I creating? I don't know. Looks stupid. Maybe I want his whole pony just to look like that. Pony? French. I mean French. I'm sorry. Pony's like the, the German word for that. We call it pony. Yeah, let's have him like... I always say him. I guess it's a he now. <laughs> Pronouns. <laughs> let's have him have like a weird side fringe. Fringe, fringe. God, words. Yeah, this side is just, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what I'm creating right now. Just wanted to show you something, but now I'm actually like creating a character. So what I was going to say is like, you need, you need some line art. Just think of some line art. And I'm just showing you how I do my sketches now because I can. Yeah, we want some some like symmetrical stuff, but not too much because it m makes the face look weird because like we humans are just not symmetrical. So yeah, I want him to have like rounded triangle eyebrows. I don't know why. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, so round triangle boy. Great name. Good sketch. Yeah. Like this character. Maybe he will be some one actually like in actuality. Yeah. Draw the clavicula. Oh you got a short neck. Short neck triangle boy. <laughs> short neck round triangle boy. <laughs> okay, we got our sketch now. Okay, now we need some line art. I'm going to do it with the with this Copic pen. Um 
I don't really like it all that much because it's like 0 0.3, uh, I guess, centimeters thick. And I think that's too thick. I'll show you. Wait. Like if the cap would go off, that would be great. <gasps> don't fall. Don't, don't fall. This. You see this? This is kind of thick. So, yeah. I guess we'll try. Okay, so what you want to do to get like a, uh, like a clean line art, you can always do like these, these, these little sketchy... I always get a line because of that, but it will look thick and also not as clean. So we'll just drag the liner. I don't know if you wear eyeliner, but it's the same with that. You just gotta drag it. Don't try to like make like different kinds of like uh yeah don't don't do this. Don't just one uh pencil stroke after the other or pen stroke. Do one big pen stroke and you'll have it. And don't stress too much. I know sometimes you're like, oh shit, I ruined the whole thing. Try try to calm yourself and just wait till it's finished. Sometimes it looks shit, sometimes it doesn't. Just think a bit more like, um, what was his name? The guy who was always so chill. Bob, Bob Ross. Think a bit more about like Bob Ross. Just happy little accidents. <laughs> Rounded triangle boy got himself some line art so um maybe you notice i talked about shapes triangles are usually more well it, it really depends how spiky you make them and stuff that's why i said rounded triangle boy because triangles and also these outer going shapes everything goes out of the face with this character it looks a bit more like explosion like like it looks very mm, how can you say that very energetic um, while round shapes and like rectangular shapes will look a bit more um, grounded I can I guess like it looks very much more um, calm than this so um, I wanted to have him like this triangle but I also wanted him to look like a bit um, yeah still a bit calm in his design so he has this uh, thing that goes like his hair goes down and it's really calming I guess you could call it round motion and then it goes outwards because you still have some spike in him and he this like also goes down and then it goes spikes up his eyes are very round his eyebrow is the, the, the eyebrow you can see is round but still a triangle so um, yeah I forgot to put some clothes on him he, he's going to be naked now it's, it's, it's still good because I wanted to show you about the coloring uh, I want to show you something about the coloring. So you need some Copic markers or some markers you want to draw with or like colors, just general colors. So one thing I'd recommend you is to just, well, if you have Copic markers, for example, um, just try them out and just like have whole page, I have a whole page just dedicated to uh, drawing with the marker and then writing this number down on the color because you can't trust these colors <laughs> just just to tell you you can't trust the color that's shown here won't be that color probably most of the time so I just choose like I always start with the skin um, I just chose some color that I would think fit this character so something warm but not too warm I just wanted him to have like I guess a warmer color scheme because he seems like a very bubbly friendly character but I don't want to go too warm so yeah we'll see how this turns out because I can never tell before I draw them yeah oh and like first you gotta erase the pencil sketch just so you know sorry I didn't tell you that but I'm telling you now so erase the pencil sketch if you didn't already do that please will look terrible if you don't because you can't erase it afterwards I guess and also if you draw with Copic markers on pencil, it's just, it looks, it looks stupid. Yeah. And it, it will smudge the color. Let's start coloring. And I'm sorry the light changed. I'm recording this when it's evening here, so I'm sorry. 
Yeah, and I don't have very neutral light. I have warm light. Okay, so what I do is just I tip it and then kind of like like do these motions where I go away from the paper just so I get some uh, like lightning differences already. You can see. I go like a bit like this. You see? Yeah. Um, you already has these different like this is this shade is a lot darker than than that and I just look what's prominent on the face and try to mark there you know so we got like under the eyes it's a bit darker we always have these kind of like light parts where the cheekbone is oh shit I waited too long <laughs> well whatever so under the eye it's darker always keep the places wet you want to keep wet see now we got this little triangle here for the cheekbone yeah I'm sorry if you hear noises my cat is in my room so give this a bit darker than that and just go on with this cat if you stop S stop stop no no I don't know why, but I like this muscle, so I always try to make it more prominent. There is the... wait, I know the name. Sternocleidomastoideus. That's the name of this muscle. <laughs> yeah. I like to keep like white spots where the light is like pretty bright, just so I have more contrast in the skin. But that's that's on you, man. I don't know. I like, I like that. You don't have to like it. <laughs> Oh damn, this does not look good. Okay, so, you just keep on adding shadows and stuff with the same color. So, let's see, here it has to be a bit darker. Yeah, something like that. And I always like to make the nose more prominent, this muscle, as I said and like the hairline and stuff, but that's totally on you, like, however you like it. And yeah, I forgot the year. The fuck? <laughs> okay, now that we have that, we can add another color. Because I like to make my shadows, like, a bit more interesting. Because I don't want them to be just, like, kind of grayish, like the color, but a bit more gray. I don't want that, I want color. So I always try to look at the overall color scheme I want my character to be and try to choose a color from that. There are artists that just use red, always. Always red shadow and it looks cool. Or always bluish, bluish shadow or greenish shadow or something. I like to keep it in the color scheme of the whole picture or of the character. So with this one, damn it, now I gotta decide what color he's supposed to like have as his prominent color. Give me a minute. I don't know what it is about him. To me, he just seems like a... I don't know. Yellow, pink guy. Why ever? I, I, why ever? Is that a word? I don't know. But I, I, let's, let's just make him a yellow, pink guy. Here he comes. So for blush, I'm choosing a bit of an orangey pink. So like a peach, I guess. What's it called? Pale cherry pink. Yeah, I'm going to choose that for blush and second shadow. What I mean by second shadow, let me show you. I always pick this side of the copy marker. I don't know who can draw with the other side. They must be, they, they must be, I don't know. The god. So, and uh, like with these, I also try to make like a gradient, you see, just do it like this and do these kind of motions, like I lay it flat and then do these kind of motions. So I have like very sharp shadows and also gradient shadows in my drawings and I really like that because I like how it looks, it looks a bit more realistic because when you look around yourself, you'll notice shadows are can be pretty like sharp but also like just very gradient like 
so I like to keep a good mixture, but again, that's just my style. You can do whatever you like, man. Just find a style that makes you happy, not that suits your characters or anything, or suits like the public opinion of which style is good. Just find a style that you like and maybe get inspiration from other creators, but don't get too stressed if it doesn't look like like the pop uh, the, 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 the pop what's that word? The popular that's the word. The popular artist that you like. It's your style and it's your art, so it is always right. Yeah. I also like to draw some blush on the shoulders most of the time, but right now I don't think he's a blushy blushy shoulder boy. Yeah. Oh damn, out of focus. Okay, yeah. Time to choose um, some hair color and some eye color. For hair, I use, oops, <laughs> I'll make him blonde, I guess, like strawberry, strawberry blonde. I can't talk today. <laughs> strawberry blonde. And I guess for eye, eyes, you'll just be pink because I can. This is light peach. Nine. Nine. <laughs> no, light prawn. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so German today. Okay. Always remember, you want to also incorporate the blush we just used. Wait, let me show you which which I mean. Eh, eh. I mean this one. It was pale cherry pink. You also want to incorporate that in the eye and in the hair. Because then we will have a more like... I know, looks a bit more like together, the whole character. I, I, I'll show you what I mean, wait. Nice, now I got a fucking... Got that song stuck in my head. Strawberry blonde. I like to keep like a part of the eye like white. Yeah, so we'll, we'll let that dry because we want to make a shadow on later on. So now I'm going with a buttercup yellow. Mm. And... I'll draw, like, I'll, I'll color the hair. I like to, like, keep the, like, the marker strokes with the, like, the flow of the hair, you know? So, like, I know from this point on, it will go like this. So, we try to incorporate that in our coloring process. And this is also just practice, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I know it doesn't look like super good. I know, I know. I don't, I don't think I'm like the best artist out there, but I, I guess this just... I like how I color hair, okay? Don't add me. I can like my art. We don't always have to be so negative about everything we create. Yeah, so... Also, maybe you already noticed, I'm shit at coloring. I always draw over the lines. So now that we do the hair, or color, color the hair, we can now go back in the eye, draw the pupil. Is, is pupil the word? And then also just a touch of shadow in there. Shadow the hedgehog, you know? I'm kidding. So now we have a bit of gradient in the eye. You can't really see that because of the stupid light, but whatever. Now I go back in with the hair color. Try to give it a bit, bit more texture by just doing some more pen strokes. You can see that maybe you now it's a bit darker here. Give it some shadow. I just want to look, let the hair look like hair and have a bit more contrast this and also this part of the hair often pretty dark and if you leave this a bit more light it will look like this part will have really cool gradient effect just try it maybe now that this is all done look at this like this look he looks like he looks uh, friendly and at the same time like a, like a bitch just <laughs> he looks like that one character that will uh, bully you for your clothing <laughs> and that's what a triangle round boy should be. So, we'll go back in with the pale uh, pale cherry pink now. 
and go in in the hair because we want this shadow to be interesting so and also for a real strawberry blonde he'll need some strawberry in that blonde like this you see see this difference it's really cool right now and I, I love I, I don't know I just really like how this color in shadows just looks I don't know just look at that it's so much, this has so much more depth, depth, depth now. Depth, 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 you know. Yeah, I can't talk, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe not the best time to make a tutorial or something. This is not a tutorial, this is just bullshittery, but yeah. Good, I like it, I like it. How do I like it? I don't know. I just do. Okay. So I want to incorporate some shadows here, this side. I like to keep the shadows on this side a bit more like sharp and this side more gradient. So like the, the um, shadows that are directly facing the camera, I like to keep them a lot more like soft and gradient like. And then on the other side, I wanted them to be sharp as fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry for cursing so much. <laughs> so. This is our little strawberry blonde boy till now. Wow, on this camera he looks a bit, his eyes just look like they could pierce through your soul. <laughs> yeah, so one thing I always do, I will, I'll show you, wait. It's kind of like the final step. I like to go in with the marker again and just do like the very outer lines, like make them a lot thicker. Just so, um, I know it's always cool to have like differences in your line art, like how thick everything is, because if you have every line in like the same thickness, is thickness the word? I don't know. Um, it will really be so distracting and hard to look at. And if you just kind of give the eye like, um, I don't know, a frame, I guess where they can look. It's really, it's a lot nicer to look at. I'm sorry for casting such a big shadow with my big stupid hand. Yeah, and, and please don't be scared if the line looks very thick. It, it, it's good, it's good. Except that's not your art style, then that's bad. But you know, you get, you get what, I, what I'm saying, you know? Like this, yeah. We like that, we want that. Probably some, some art major or something will say like, Oh, but that's stupid if you do the line thick over there. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. This is my art. You can't tell me what to do. Sorry if I'm breathing in the microphone. That, that must be gross. That must be really gross. <laughs> okay, then just, I guess, color the, the line art <laughs> with black. Even though black's not a color, but whatever. Like this, like this, do, do, do. like in this step you can really like show off a form but also just fuck up a form completely. <laughs> yeah. So Good, good boy. Good boy, who's a good boy? You are. You're a good strawberry blonde boy. Strawberry blonde round triangle boy. Strawberry blonde pink eye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. I hope this kind of gave you some inspiration or some tips or ideas how you can color and like do shading and stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to try out this camera. This was all a big excuse for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still hope you liked uh, watching this and um, I know I fucked up the intro. My intro is hello everybody and welcome to this new video, but I just said welcome, I guess. Yeah, thanks for watching. 